Hello, fellow Rasher fans. How are you today? Here they what happened on NXT for April the 16th, 2024, last night. The opening match was Noam Dar with Metaphor at ringside took on Dijak. Um, Dijak tossed Noam Dar out of the ring, went outside to go after Noam Dar, drop kicked him into the still steps, rolled him in the ring. And as Dijak was getting up, Noam Dar hit that running form shot he does, had a running punch, but Dijak caught him, sit down, choke slam. Almost won the match there, but Noam Dog kicked out. Noam Dog hit a brain buster. That was awesome. It bounced off the top rope with a clothesline. As Dijak was getting up, went for how to move off the ropes. Dijak caught him, power slammed him down, delivered a top rope clothesline of his own. Then Noam Dog was getting the speed going, right? And uh, Dijak was trying to grab hold of him. Finally, Noam Dog ran into a discus big boot, and Dijak just floored his ass. Pinned him, son of the Masu. A metaphor jumped up to cause the referee to stop counting. Dijak knocked him off the ring apron. Turned around. Noam Dar smoked him in the face of a running sidekick for the 1-2-3. And Metaphor quickly took off because Dijak was pissed off. Next up was Soruka. Took on Loa Vice. Um, Loa Vice delivered one hell of an awesome roundhouse kick to the midsection. Um, then a series of kick strikes back of Soruka in the corner. Subaruku came out of that corner of a hip toss into an X Factor, like X Pac News dude. That was awesome. Then um, Lola Vice delivered a kick across the back. Subaruka hit running shoulder tackles. Got a hold of her. And remember how Braun Strowman used to run a power slam? Well, Subaruka did that and it, looked, it, looked, it was bad. It, don't do the running power slam, Subaruka. She went for her top rope flip over into a diamond cutter. But Lola Vice pulled her off the top rope. Roundhouse kicked her. One, two, three. Got the win. And as she was twerking, um, Natalia appeared on the Titan Tron. She has challenged Lola Vice to the first ever NXT Wenham's Underground match. That's going to be awesome. Her and Lola Vice next week, a spring break. Um, week one. Um, NXT Underground. Um, there's no ring ropes. Um, wrestlers, referees. Staff all around ringside. The only way you can win is by knockout or submission. But I don't know since this is the first ever Winnem's NXT Underground. They might add the pinfall stipulation to it. I don't know. Next up, we have Ridge Holland took on Joaquin Wall of the LWO. He came out by himself. Ridge went to do a running shoulder tackle and slipped and messed up on that. And they delivered a running power slam. Um, they delivered a close the series close lines. Then Joaquin Wild DDT'd him off the ropes, um, punch combo, bounced off the ropes, side kicked him right in the face. Then um, he went, I don't know what the hell he was going for off the top rope, but uh, Ridge Holland caught him. Wall strongest slam on the outside on the ramp, then quickly throw him in the ring and pinned him for the one, two, three. And now for we're exciting there. I don't know what they're doing, Ridge Holland. Like one week he's retired, next week he's back. Last week he attacked Joaquin Wild. And then this week he's all goody goody, and then one week's a heel, one week is a face. Like they don't, they're trying whatever they can to get fans behind Ridge Holland, and it ain't working. Um, next up we had let's check here. Oh, Dragon off. Um, he was told by the Rock's daughter that since Trick is in the steel cage with Camille Hayes, that Dragon off should also compete. Dragon off's like I'm cool with that. How about open challenge? So. Dragging off into the ring, he said, however, my world championship will not be on the line. And all the wrestlers came running out and started fighting each other, trying to get into the ring to fight the champion. The son of the newcomer, Javon Evans, came through the crowd, jumped all over the ropes, and landed, and turned around and faced Dragging off face-to-face. Dragging off's like, okay, let's get this thing going. Bow rang, Dragging off welcomed him to the main roster. Snap German suplex, um, one hell of an insigiri kick. Side chopping the whole hell of him back him in the corner. Evans came out of the corner, side chopping back and dragging off in the corner. Um, bounced off the ropes with an awesome drop kick. Then quickly bounced off the opposite ropes with a clothesline. Then quickly ran, bounced off the ropes again. Was going for her Corona and dragging off counter caught him, power bombed his ass big time. The dragging off hit that running knee to the face. Um, he went for the running uppercut. Evans countered it with a super kick. Another super kick, a side kick off the ropes, almost pinned the champion, but Dragunov kicked out. Then he went for that awesome top rope, like 
corkscrew spinny does into a frog splash. Dragunov got the knees up, running uppercut, one, two, three. Your winner, the NXT World Champion, Dragunov. After the match, he picked up JaVale Evans, shook his hand. They hugged, and he said, you got a bright future here. And then he left. That was awesome. Fia Hill took on Tatum Paxi. Before the match, um, Tatum Paxi delivered a promo backstage saying that Oddly, Valkyrie never loved her like she loved her. Only thing she loved most was the NXT Women's Championship. She just wanted to be friends. I wanted to suffer more. So she said, uh, my goal was to take away that championship so we could be to Jeddah. Now that Roxanne Perez is the champion, I was hoping that Oddly, Valkyrie and me could be to Jeddah. But instead, she's obsessed getting the title back. So she's, I guess now she's going to learn about tough love. And she, then she said, um... Love her scorn, something like that. Then it showed Fia Hill. She was backstage with Chase. I'm doing Chase from Chase University. And she said, is it true what JCJ said last week that you have feelings for me? He said, not romantically, more like a friend. He said, she's just trying to get into your head. And then as he hugged her and all that, you can tell that he kind of does have feelings for her. But she's with Roddy Osborne. So they went out. Fia Hill, Tina Paxi. It was like a three-minute match. Um... Nothing really exciting happened. Um, Jasmine came out, distracted the referee. Riley Osborne pulled her off the ring apron. Fia Hill got distracted. JCJ showed up, smoked her right hand. The team Paxi rolled up Fia Hill from behind for one, two, three. After the match, Fia Hill went right after JC Jade. Referees came out to separate them. And then suddenly in the ring, Ali Valkyrie, your former NXT Women's Champion, showed up and beat the shit out of Tatum Paxi. Until referees that were dealing with Phil and JCJ had to stop, run in to separate those two with them. That was cool. Um, the offers of pain with Karrion Cross, Paul Aaron, and Scott at ringside took on the team of Malachi, Idufus, and Brianna Rees. Before this match, it was a backstage workout video with those three. It was awful. It was hard to watch. AOP just destroyed the tag team. The other guys hardly got nothing in. It was all ALP. It was a terrible match. The offers of pain won with the Super Collider power bombs. Um, during the match, at one point, this was a dangerous moment. Um, Malachi got went out the ropes to do a move. And one of the offers of pain caught him and held on to him. Then then a doofus ran to do a flip over the ropes. And they tossed Malachi on to a doofus. And that looked nasty. That was a major injury risk right there. The way they just land it. Even the referee quickly told him, like, you can see I pinned these guys. This is over. Um, hopefully those two guys are okay. The offers of pain, I remember that years ago, they are risk factors. They have injured people before by just tossing them around the ring and stuff like that, and they don't land right. Next up, um, Joss Briggs was cleared to compete. He said, good, I want to face Uma Fima for the North American Championship tonight. And um, suddenly, Arvar showed up. And he says, I guess you didn't see next week. I'm the one to face Uma Fima. And Josh Briggs, why don't you take your ass back to Raw where you belong? And Arvar said, hey, the draft's coming up. I might be drafted here. You might be end up going to Raw or SmackDown. So Josh Briggs, well, that's the case. How about we have ourselves a match? Um, the trainer told The Rock's daughter he's cleared to compete. Their bruised ribs are healed up. Um, the match started, and Josh Briggs, as he took his um, flannel vest off, his ribs are taped up. So I guess he ain't 100% clear if his tape ribs are still taped up. Bell rang. Josh Briggs turned around. Ivar smoked him a big boot, then a discus clothesline, then a top rope splash onto the injured ribs. Um, Josh Briggs fought back with a big boot of his own, a series of clotheslines. He actually picked up Arvar and scoop slammed him down. That was awesome. Then he picked up Arvar. He was going for like a Guerrero press slam into a power bomb. Arvar countered it with a Um Arvar won the match with a roundhouse kick for the one, two, three. After the match, Uma Fimo's backstage. He said, I guess I'll go talk to the GM to get this title match made official. So it looks like we're going to have Uma Fima versus Arvar for that North American Championship. That's going to be sweet. Your main event was the steel cage match between Camilo Hayes and Trick Williams. Um, Trick introduced Camilo, I'm sorry, Camilo Hayes introduced Trick first into the cage by smashing his back, repeating the end of the cage wall. Um, Trick answered back by sending Camilo Hayes like four times in a row, his face into the cage. 
Then suddenly, Camille Hayes' security goons were outside the ring. One hand him a lead pipe through the cage wall. Camille Hayes with a lead pipe shot to the midsection. Four shots across the back. Uh, bounced off the ropes. Trick Williams caught him with a jump up knee right underneath the jaw. Then delivered code breaker. Then hit the run a big boot. Camille Hayes answered back with a nice close on off the ropes. Then um, Trick started fighting back again. Arish whipped Camille Hayes into the cage wall. And that cage wall, like you can see, separated a little bit. I was like, oh man. Eventually these guys are going to go through that cage, side so side the cage, and the wall is going to fall down. But nope, it didn't. Um, Camille Hayes tried to escape. Trick Williams stopped him. And then they exchanged, repeatedly smashing each other's face off the cage. Then Camille Hayes' personal security goon started climbing into the cage. Trick Williams started running, knocking him off the cage wall. One got into the cage through the door of a steel chair. This was funny. Trick, big boot him out of the cage door, right? The guy stopped himself from falling down the steps. Then realized, oh yeah, I'm supposed to fall down the steps. And he did it himself. That was funny. Kamel Hayes grabbed hold of the steel chair. Waited for Trick to turn around and hit him in the face with it. Trick now was smart. Knew it was coming. Counter that by running big boot right with the chair into the face of Kamel Hayes to pick up the win. Then he climbed up on the top of the cage, stood there and celebrated. Trick Williams did, and then suddenly Dragonoff came out and said, Next week, you got your world title match against me at spring break week one. But remember, you're too good for the NXT. He says, so if you, when you lose, he said, not if, when you lose, you're going up to the main roster. I don't want to see you here on NXT. That's Dragonoff's way of trying to help Trick Williams further his career. And Trick answered back with saying, I'm going to become the new NXT World Champion next week. Um, so next week is a two-week special event called Spring Break. Spring Break-In. Uh, yeah, that's what it's called. So week one, we've got a six-man tag that was set up from a backstage uh, segment in the ring. Sorry, in the ring. The Mafia family are going to take on Drew Gulak's group in a six-man tag. So, I don't know if it's going to be Gulak, Charlie Dempsey, Cap, or Bones will replace one of them. We won't know until match time. Lola Vice versus Natalia next week. The first ever NXT Women's Underground match. That should be very good. Saruka is requested to face Blair Davenport and no disqualification match. That has been sanctioned. World title match. Trick Williams versus Dragonoff. And, um, that's it for week one. Week two looks like it's going to be Uma Fima. Arvar for the North America Championship. I'm thinking that um, Offers of Pain may get a tag team title shot against Nathan Frazier. And Exion, because in the show, after the Offer of Pain uh, won the match, Nathan Frazier and Exion came out, wanted a piece of them, but referees stopped them from getting in the ring. So I think I can see that tag team title match happening on week two. Um, also, some backstage stuff happened. Um, There was a segment where, um, I don't know who it was backstage, some newcomer. She was talking to Grace, and she said, is Gingy had a makeover yet? Grace said, no, not yet. Actually, we're doing that today. And then she left, and it showed her of Gingy. There's no makeover. Gingy's still Gingy. Her hair's no different. Her attire's no different. So this whole thing with Grace beating her like a month ago, where Gingy has to do a makeover, it like, looks like they forgot about it. Now they're doing it again. Um, that's not cool. Um, the segment with the Mafia family, with Drew Gulak's group of the ring, that was very cool. I like that. I like how Tony the Don said, like, hey, Dragunov won. He was the better man. But he said, I will get that championship. And then Gulak's group's like, you guys are a bunch of losers. We could have easily beaten Dragunov. Top stack. So how about you guys, you know, instead of talking, shut your mouth. He said, let's get in this ring of fight. And then brawl broke out. And, man, Tony the Don, Top Stacks, Luca. Just mopped the floor of Dempsey, Cap, and Bones. Um, Tony actually requested to face Charlie Dempsey one-on-one -on -one last night for the Heritage Cup. But Charlie Dempsey backed off of that challenge. Um, there you have it, folks. Definitely check out the Steel Cage match. Definitely check out Joss Briggs versus Arvar. The opening match with Die Jack and Noam Darvis off the chain. That was an awesome match. Um, Saruka... First of all, the vice was good as well. Um, the other matches were very fast. Or enough very exciting happened. I can't wait for next week. That's an action-packed show. 
Is Trick Williams going to beat Dragon off and become the new NXT World Champion? Or is Dragon off going to beat Trick Williams and send him back and Raw with SmackDown? But if Dragon off is eligible to be drafted, maybe Trick will win the title, and that's how Dragon off loses it before he goes up on the main roster. Stay safe, everybody. To sweet bye.